Robert, can you tell me a little bit about how you feel about confronting anti-Semitism today? I'm particularly sensitive to what happens when anti-Semitism is spreads in the school system, and which is what we're witnessing pretty much across the world, we're certainly in, including here in Toronto, it hides, it has new names. It doesn't call itself anti-Semitism. It doesn't say, you know, it doesn't say words like stinking Jew. You won't hear that. It has refined itself. It has become far more sophisticated. It is politically correct. It uses fashionable terminology, such as the B BDS. BDS, Israel apartheid, anti-Zionism. Um, it, it, it calls itself a liberation movement. Mm -hmm. it, it, it hides behind the politically correct terminology which adds up to the exact same thing. Like social, social justice. Social justice, but only social justice for some. Certainly not, not social well. justice for those who, for Jews, but they don't call them Jews, they call them, you know, Zionists, Israelis. But they don't mean that. They mean Jews. So, you know, to see something, to see that the, the mural at York, it's, it's really just the tip, of an ice, tip of the iceberg. Some people call it artwork. What do you think it is? Well, you know, I I whether it is artwork or not is for experts to judge a hundred years from now when we're all dead. And if it still survives, and then it will be artwork. What it is right now is a, is a, is, is, is a painting or a mural in which Essentially, it, there's people who are holding big stones, presumably because they're going to throw them, and they are called, and underneath it says justice and peace. And so what it, what it says is, this is not a piece of art that encourages discourse. This is, a, if you want to call it a piece of art or whatever it is, this is something that encourages violence. It is something that equates the throwing of stones against Jews with peace, justice, and liberty. Those are, that's how this mural is identified. And why do you think that York University and other universities have a hard time moving beyond that and doing the right thing by removing the mural, by um, healing some of the divisiveness on campus, by ending anti-Semitism. Why do you think they have such a hard time doing this? You know, anti-Semitism, disguised under its various fashionable names, is got a tremendous hold on the politically correct discourse. And interfering with it is people like, I mean, I don't know what the reasons for not, not, not interfering are specifically by the administration of York, but stepping in the way of these, of, of, of contemporary anti-Semitism would be really incurring the wrath of the fashionable so-called progressive movements. I say so-called progressive because there's nothing progressive about being racist, nothing progressive about being anti-Semitic, nothing progressive about being anti-Zionist. There's nothing progressive about a movement that makes no comment on how women are treated in more than half the world. That makes absolutely, has nothing to say about women being traded as objects or being the property of their fathers or their husbands. Um, there's nothing that doesn't seem to enter the discourse, so they can't really call themselves progressive, but they do. Because progressive allows you to do things like, say, you know, throwing stones at Israelis is you know, this is a politically correct act because Israelis are presumed to be oppressors by definition. And so, but, so my point would be if, if, if it's about the f free speech and the free exchange of ideas and free discourse, by all means, I have absolutely no problems with a different point of view. In fact, it's really important to have a discourse and to have a plurality of points of view. I have a problem with a representation of violence, a point of view, which ultimately boils down to one thing, encouraging violence. And that's what the throwing of stones is. So, no, free discourse of ideas. By all means, that's what the university is for. But that's not what this particular mural is about. It's not about the free discourse of ideas. It's about identifying 
violence by, in this case, by Palestinians with peace, justice, and liberty. That's something else.